welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium, and we are going to get started. Um, for today's show, I will be taking callers as I always do. The call in number is 845 277 9131. If you have a question, or you'd like to connect with a loved one on the other side, go ahead and call in. Um, for your question, please have a somewhat exact question about life, love, career, finances. Uh, and then if you wanna connect with a loved one, I need their name, their relationship to you, like Judy, my mom, Bill, my uncle. And then if you have a question, ask that right away of your loved one. Otherwise I'll just you know, do my best to get the message. If you are watching live on YouTube, you can also post your question in the YouTube chat. Hey, everybody on YouTube. I was running a little late this morning. I didn't even get to any questions on the chat yet. Um, please, I will never reach out to you on social media. Do not get scammed. There are people pretending to be people or just jumping in and trying to uh, scam people, please don't be scammed. Uh, don't uh, fall for that. That's what I would say. I do offer private sessions. You get them by going to my website and then contacting my business number. I will never reach out on social media and say, hey, let's do this. It does. I just don't work that way. Nobody who's reputable does. Okay. Um... Yeah, I, I, it's taking me a moment to reacclimate to everything uh, because I, uh, yeah, I missed yesterday's show, and if I miss a show, and it seems like it just takes forever to make it to get back into the swing of things. Okay, so I am going to get started. I'm going to start with a caller, and the again, the call in number is eight four five two seven seven nine one three one. Uh, and let's, when I say your area code, please tell me your first name and where you're calling from. 630, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. It's Dion. Thank you for taking my call. I am in North Carolina. Hey, Dion. How are you? I'm okay. I'm hanging in there. <laughs> Excellent. How can I day help you? Day by day, day by day. A everybody right now, right? Everybody. How can I help you, love? Yeah. Okay, so I just wanted to find out if you... Lately, I've been feeling, like, scared about my personal safety. If you could see if, like, I have any danger around me or if I, you know... I mean, I pray for protection. But lately, I just feel like I've had attracted more haters than people okay. who like me. And I, I just, I fear for my safety sometimes. Okay, so I'm going to, um, <clears throat> I'm going to try to ask that in a, in a different sort of way. Um, is there I feel like physically you are safe. Okay, physically, I feel like you are safe. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just basically going to do a clearing for you and everybody listening, watching, um, joining in, that uh, we are safe. And um, so let's strengthen that. And Dion, remember, we always have at least at the very least, two angels and our, our guides are with us. So they really do buffer anything that would intend to harm us. So if you ever have those feelings, you can just say angels jump in and they absolutely 100% will. But the feeling I'm getting as of right now, is there anything she needs? There's nothing you need to worry about. And I'm asking in a number of different ways, um, if you're safe, if you're protected, and I'm getting a yes on all of those, but we're just going to, um, yes. let's clear that. We'll clear the feeling of being unsafe, but I 
if if we're ever truly unsafe we'll know now i'll ask if there's a lesson coming in because sometimes we can have this really nervous feeling when and i don't want to call it a lesson but when something's about to happen um that is is coming into our life i don't even get a yes on that i get a no i i everything i'm okay. getting right That's now good. yeah everything i'm getting is good now here's what i will say i'm going to validate what you're saying um when we have people around us that are not in our highest good or they don't want the best for us or they're just jealous or you know like you said haters their thoughts about us can affect us especially if we are empathic so if they're thinking negative things we may feel that energy we may feel that um feeling of their energy so let's uh pull all of that out for you and everybody else and uh but it but that just that might be it that might be what's going on for you right now dion okay love okay that works for me thank you you are so welcome and keep shining keep growing keep going no matter what anybody says let them be them you just keep going okay okay thank you you are so welcome you have an amazing day and we will chat soon and one one thing i just want to say um quickly is you know if we give power to somebody else's thought or the thought of um something bad happening it can make it stronger so just eliminate those thoughts as quickly i mean pay attention to what you need to pay attention to but eliminate what you can right away once you know okay the next question is from terry terry will i get my own place soon i've been looking for a while but i feel like i just can't find the one for me or it's already been bought it's not been bought oh that, that was fast it has not been bought it may not be on the market yet um please keep looking i feel like it's coming i hear in the summer months i hear august yeah i feel like in the summer keep looking in june and july so you have a really good idea about the market and then i feel like in august is she going to find it in august yes you're going to find the place in august and uh you will be very very happy with it terry terry so please keep looking you're going to be very excited when you find this place i'm going to go to the next caller who is 814 814 what's your name and where are you calling from Hi, uh, my name is Amy and I'm calling from Pennsylvania and I have a job interview on Thursday and I wanted to see how you thought it would go. The interview itself is going to go good or okay. It's going to be okay. The interview is going to be good. It's going to be the normal process. Uh, nothing spectacular about the interview. I feel like you're going to do a very good job at the interview. Um, I, and what I think you want to know is, are you going to get the position? Yeah. Um, they're not answering that. I don't know why. They're not giving me an answer to that. Like it's radio silence. Let me ask it in a different way. Give me a quick second here. Maybe the reason, maybe they don't, they just don't, is there a position? Yeah, there's a position. You know, here's what I'm going to say. I don't know if you're going to get this position. I'm not getting an answer, which to me, if you are getting the position or you're in alignment to get the position, I get a yes right away. What I'm going to say to you, what I am hearing is there's something better and you're going to know about this something better. They're saying within a week, I'm going to say give it a month, but there's a better position coming within 
within a month's time, they're saying a week. So pay attention for that because I feel like that's going to be a much better fit for you. So please um, pay attention for that. And you might be pleasantly surprised that, you know, this other thing comes along and that's the direction you go in. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much, Tony. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you for calling in. You too. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go to the next caller. Uh, ha, ha. I think this is it. Uh, not the next caller. I'm sorry. The next question on the YouTube chat. And this is, Tony, I'd like to know if it's over between E and I, and when the next man will enter my life, want a real relationship. Thank you. Okay, E, first name, last name. Uh, I don't have I don't have full names here, but I'm going to try to tap into this. Um, you know, if it's not over, it really should be. I know that that's not always an easy thing to hear. Um, this is quite a um, tumultuous situation between the two of you. It's quite, um, the, I, I'm hearing there's been deception and or, deceiving or deception. There's been um, some, some other word I can't, I, I'm not sure I'm getting the right word, so I'm not going to use it. Um, but what I'm going to say is there's been a bit of deception. Now, I'm going to say this, too. So please don't right away, you know, sometimes when we hear there's been deception, we're like, oh, my gosh, what are they deceiving me? At? You know, I've been in relationships where I've just deceived myself, where I've just like, you know, things were looking one way, but I was like, oh, no, it's. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Oh, no, that's not the case. Oh, no. You know, and we do that. Sometimes we just do that, right? And um, what I'm actually hearing for you is, I, I don't know if it was self-deception or other deception, but there's been quite a bit of deception in this relationship. And there's some arrogance. So I don't know if it's an arrogance about the relationship itself or one of the people involved is a bit arrogant. And um, those two things, I mean, arrogance and then on top of that, deception would, would be enough to, no relationship can survive that and the people be at peace. That's just not going to happen. So what I would say to you is probably best for you to let go of this situation, just cut, cut it, cut all connections and just move on with your life. And if you do that, if you choose to do that, the next person coming into your life will be in, well, I'm going to do this instead. I'm going to say, when will the significant person come into your life. Um, May. I know we're in June and that's that's next year. And what I'm going to say to you, it wasn't this past, no, it wasn't this past May, it's next May. What I'm going to say to you is it, it, there may be people that you date or talk to in between there. There might be a, a shorter relationship in between there or you're not done with this guy yet. You're not done with E yet. And then when, if E comes back or you two hook back up, um, for whatever reason, it's not gonna be until May, but you know, not me. I don't, I, what you do is your choice and I've, I'm not telling you what to do, um, but it is in your best interest to let this go enjoy your yourself, heal a little bit, and figure out what a healthy relationship looks like. And it, you know, I'm just going to take a moment to say this. And when most of us grew up, our parents did the best we could, if we even had two parents in the home. 
sorry about that, you guys. If we even had two parents in the home, you know, they did the best they could, but it was, you know, not everybody had healthy, um, a, a healthy relationship role model to look up to. So we've learned that. Okay. But when going into a relationship with someone, especially a new one, it's good if, you know, when the person says, oh, I love you. Oh, I, lo I love you. I, I want you. Okay. Th that's nice to hear. But, and I'm going to say this until I can't say it any longer because I've learned uh, the very hard way on some of these things. And if I say these things and it can help someone have an easier, gentler love path or, you know, see things right away and get into a situation that's much healthier, it's worth it to hear it again. So one of the things that I say is, Everybody loves differently and not everybody is able to love completely or at all. The, what love looks like to one person is completely different to what it looks like in another person. So when you're meeting someone and talking to someone or even in a relationship with them, ask them, how do you show your mom love? How do you show your father love? How do you show if you had children, how would you show them love? What would you do that would be your way of loving them? That's important, first of all. It'll tell you so much about that person. Next, in a relationship for it to be to, to be successful, people have to have self-respect and other respect, and they have to be able to care about a person and care for a person. If those things are not there, that relationship is going to be very challenging. And you want to know how do they care about people? What actions do they take to care about people and for people? And how do they show respect? Because everybody thinks they know how to care about someone. Everybody thinks they are respectful. You want to ask those questions. And if you don't want to ask them, how do you respect others? Say, what does it look like to you when someone's respecting you? What does it look like to you when someone's caring about you? Now, I've been in a relationship where the person totally cared and respected and took care of their family, their, you know, um, their mom and so on and so forth. But when it came to me, that just wasn't a priority, even though I can take care of myself. That's not what you want. You want that mutual love, respect, and care. Whether you need it or not, it should be present. So if you're going to even consider going back into something or you are in something right now, Start to take steps towards that. And the most important thing, make sure you both have the same long-term goal as far as a monogamous relationship, if that's what you want, because, because not everybody wants that. Okie dokie. Let's go to the next caller. The next caller is 470. 470, what's your first name and where are you calling from? How you doing, Tony? My name is um, this is Trina calling from Georgia. Hey, Trina, how can I help you? Um, I, I, well, I want to know about my finances. Okay. Do you see, cause, uh, I, because I had somebody from the other side told me I was going to get my finances soon. And I was wondering, do you see I'm getting any money soon? Well, okay. So I hear yes. Um, she is so are you, is there, I'm just going to ask you a question. Are you expecting, is there some someone, something that you're expecting money from, or is this out of the blue money? It's going to be out of the blue money. Okay. Here's what I need to say to you. Um, 
there is some money coming in. It's it's not. Is it money that's been coming? Does she have? Okay, I need to ask this a little bit differently, Trina. So please, please uh, bear with me here. Um, because you do have you do have your regular money that comes in regularly, correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So when you ask, is money coming in? You're always going to get a yes because that money's coming in. The way, and I, I, I do this all the time because it, it took me a moment to get this. So when I say this to you, now you're going to go, oh, now I know. Now I know to say it this way instead of that way. You want to ask, is extra money coming in? Do I have extra money coming in? And in order for extra money to come in, what I'm hearing for you, love, um, because when you ask, is money coming in, am I going to get money? Yes, you are. But it's probably the same money you've been getting. Now, is there extra coming in? Some, not as much as you're thinking. It's not going to be that, 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 you know, you know, sometimes when we think, oh, I'm going to, I'm going to get this big, whatever. Um, but, but Trina, here's what I'm going to tell you. There's a little bit coming in. I'm going to give you a breakdown of time frames if I can. Um, we're in June, no, August. August, you're going to have a little bit coming in, a little bit coming in of extra beyond what you normally bring in. In August, there's going to be a little bit coming in. And then in December, you're going to get a little bit more coming in. Now, these are not big jackpots that are coming in, okay? These are not like hit the lotto jackpots or anything like that. It's a, it's a little bump in your money, just a little like, here you go. Um, but if you do want more, you're they're saying you're going to... <laughs> They oh, oh my gosh, they crack me up. You're going to have to do a um like something you can do for cash that will bring in extra money consistently or in larger amounts. Okay, love. Give me a part-time job. Yeah, something like that, but it's it's independent. What I'm hearing is there's something you could do independently like on your own that will help you bring in cash, not a job where you're working for someone else, but it's actual your cash you're bringing in that really could go, you know, somewhat under the radar, if you will. Um, and then you oh, could do it when you want, how you want, if that makes sense. Hey. So you said I should start my own business. Um. So here's what I'm gonna say, love, and I it I want you to uh, you know after the show go back and listen to this again. Um. I feel like there's something you can do. It doesn't have to be a whole big business. Just you can do it, and it's something you can do that will help you bring in extra money. You can do it, um, I'm trying to say it in a way that is very um, easy to understand. I know sometimes I can speak in a way that's very uh, fast and stuff. So uh, you could do it one-on-one -on -one with people and you get to decide when you wanna do it, if you wanna do it. It doesn't have to be a whole big business. It's something you can do kind of on the side um, that is uh, that fits your needs and other people's needs and helps you to bring in a little extra money. So whatever that is for you, um, but if you, okay, so if you want extra money, that's what you would do. Otherwise, yes, you will have money coming in. It's the money that you already uh, have coming in. Okay, love? Okay, I'm going to go to the next question. Hi, hun. Can I ask what spirit want me wants me to 
to know and can I ask for you help me to remove the heavy feeling in my bay in my bay my body in my home and okay so blessed one this is a lot um for for the show for for just you know one question so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do a start a clearing for you and everybody else we're going to clear you your home you everybody listening their homes we'll just start that now we'll get through as much of it as we can uh we'll start pulling out anything that's the heaviness the um in the home in yourself we'll pull all of that out and hopefully um Hopefully this will be helpful for you, okay? I, I really do hope so. And there's a follow-up here. I'm just going to read that. Oh, it's trying to hurt. Uh, so, yeah. So that is what I'm going to do. And I know, you know what, you guys, I'm going to say this. Um, there is this really heavy energy, and especially depending on where you live there can be a feeling of this really big, heavy energy um, that a lot of people have been coming to me and asking me to help them clear or or to get, get rid of it. Um, and I do know that this, this is in the realm of things. And I'm trying to choose my words carefully here but there is some very negative or heavy or toxic, whatever we want to call it, energy floating around out there. So again, I'm going to start to pull this. Okay, so it's not that, it's just, yeah, it's just that. So we're going to start to pull this. And uh, please, blessed one, keep me posted throughout the show to let me know how you're feeling and how your home is feeling and you guys for everybody else who's listening we're cl i'm clearing it for anyone and everyone listening if you're re-listening if you're listening on repeat or even if you come back and listen to the show again in three days let's say this happens every morning blessed one you can put this part of the show on every morning and get that clearing all over again the clearing will work when you listen to it okay um and what I'm going to say is, uh, oh, I forgot what I was going to say. Yes, it's for everyone. It's it's it should be working for everyone as as I'm doing the show. Okay, everybody, and please keep let me know how how everybody's doing and if you're feeling this. Okay, sweetie, and I'm so sorry that you're going through that. And I do understand. I read both messages, and I completely understand what you're saying so we're going to clear that okay love i'm going to go to the next caller who i think is if you would like to call in it's 845-277-9131 i'll be live again tomorrow night at 7 p.m i think the next caller is 405 405 what's your name and where are you calling from <clears throat> hey tony it's heather hey heather what's going on oh Quite a bit. Um, I was trying to see if I can connect to Grandma um, Schimmel and ask about Andrew. Okay, what do you want? Is there anything we can do to help him? Okay, uh, what do you, uh, what's going on with Andrew? Um, he's wanting to commit suicide. He has a TBI from hockey and we're dealing with all that right now. Okay, so let's... I can't get him into the specialist soon, so we're trying to... Okay. Let me... Um, first, I'm going to start a clearing for the that, okay? And then uh, what I'm hearing is... Oh. Okay, that just something pretty big just left um it might take a, a moment more for him to feel that release um 
So what I'm feeling is this might be something where there are going to be once Okay, once some meds are put in place, it might be helpful, but I feel like it's going to be a bit of a journey, Heather. There's going to be a bit of a long road going on here um, to make sure everything is in place. And it sometimes takes a moment for all of this to adjust to the appropriate levels, okay? Um, okay. I'm so, I'm so sorry for what you're going through, sweetie. I really am. But I do feel like, it, even though it's going to be a little bit of a journey, it be that once everything's in place, everything will be good, okay? But there's going to be a bit of a um, an upheaval, up and, upheaval, but then up and down, and then finally a balancing, okay, love? Mm-hmm. Okay, and I'm so sorry, sweetie. I hope it does get a little bit easier for you. And I do hope that you have some peace with what you're going through. Remember, as it as long as as long as there is someone there, right, right now, it'll be okay. And I do feel like, again, it's mm -hmm. going to be a little bit of a road, but it will eventually even out. Okay, sweetie? Okay. Okay. Uh, please keep me posted on how everything goes. And um, let me, uh, if you need uh, anything else, please let me know. Okay, love? Okay. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. Um, you guys, you know, we really are going through a time that we've not gone through in our personal histories. And it's really important that what we do at this time with ourselves and with others, we need to be a little bit more delicate. Now, I'm not saying let people walk over you or let people use or abuse you. Um, if you need to let somebody out of your life, do it gently. If you need to walk away and protect yourself, do that. Do it gently. Um, there are some changes coming in to this world, to this plane, and we need to keep ourselves strong and we need to keep others around us strong. We need to know there's hope. We need to know we need to have faith and faith and religion are not the same thing. We need to have faith. We need to have knowing that we're going to be okay and everything is going to work out. And we need to keep moving forward. We need to have three things going at all times because if one of them starts to waver, we have the other two to go to. And I'm not talking about partners, okay? That is not it. We have our work life. We have our side thing that we, we should always be working on some kind of like side business that we can turn into our own business and then we have, you could be writing books or poems or, you know, learning something, educating yourself on something, but always be in a space where you, you know, you have your work life and then you have your, your thing that you're also working on for yourself and then your personal life. And the personal life is the space that can sometimes be the most challenging and can be the most compromising to our psyche. So we have to stay in that space where everything can be very strong for us, especially with the other two areas. It is um, going to be a, a little bit of a road before we start to feel, um, before the dynamics let me put it that way, before the dynamics start to change again, before this energy starts to 
shift a little bit. And I'm getting right around that six month mark, which puts us in the winter season here in the US. The dynamics should, all things going as planned right now, the dynamics should shift a little bit and there should be a lot of hope coming in. Um, however, until then, we have to be strong and we have to keep moving forward, okay? Just please don't, don't have people around you that are not healthy for you and do not have people around you who don't care and love about you. And then also be gentle with others. And for the love of everything, when you are on the roads driving, I don't care what anybody does, laugh at it. Just laugh it off. Don't laugh at them, but laugh it off. Do not think to like honk at them unless they're almost going to hit you because there is, people are, it is something <laughs> Be careful on those roads because <laughs> please, please do that. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go to the next question. Hey, Genevieve. Hey, Sal. Hey, Heather. Um, uh, let's see. I'm looking uh, for Joy. Here we go. Uh, I think this is the next question. I hope it's a question. I'm looking for new employment, wondering about picking a co. Picking a co. I don't know a CO. I don't know a co. I, I don't know what that means, Joy. Uh, Joy, can you help me with that? Um, and in the meantime, I'm going to go to 510. 510, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Yes, hi. This is Camille. I am calling you from Oregon. Hey, Camille, how can I help you today? Okay, so my question is about a man I'm involved with. Um, I'm curious as to the long-term potential with me and Patrick. Okay, give me one quick second while I look at that. Okay. Yeah, you're, you know what, right now you guys are good. Um, there is long-term potential here. He's a pretty, he's seemingly a decent guy, good guy. I'm not saying he's, you know, I'm, for the few seconds I'm tapping into this, everything seems good. As far as long-term potential goes, it's, I hear the word good. Um, he he is a little quirky. He can be a little bit quirky and not in a bad way. Like I think sometimes um like sometimes they say they say engineers can have a bit of a quirky type of personality. It's kind of the same thing. Like he has a few little quirky things. Nothing that's a deal breaker. He's just a normal guy, which is refreshing. <laughs> Can we get some more normal yeah. guys up in here? Um, he seem, it seems like everything is good to go now. Okay, here's the one thing I always say. Um, just because you know this, it doesn't mean jump in full force. Still, you know, take the steps, take your time, get to know him on a better level. Um Allow all the steps to happen. Don't skip steps. So these are memories you're making. Don't try to push it or jump it forward because now just because you know this has the potential to be long-term, he doesn't. And you have to kind of, in every situation, let both people progress at the same time in the same way together, not you know, and just allow it to, to evolve naturally. I do feel like everything should be pretty good with this. I do feel like he is, he's a person who in general, if, if for what I'm picking up right now, he's a person in general, that's pretty content with things. So yeah, pretty good. That's, that's very good. Okay, love. Okay. 
Excellent. Okay, that's beautiful. Thank you. You are so welcome. You have an absolutely amazing rest of the day. You too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye for now. Okay, so you guys, when I give something like that, it makes me so happy. But then I, you know, I always have to remind people like, don't, don't overstep it. Don't jump. Just let it be what it's going to be. Let it develop as though you didn't know that information. Um, make sure you're, you're not skipping steps. You're not um, taking things for granted because that can mess up the rhythm of it and we want the rhythm to be a very smooth beautiful progression rhythm okay okay uh we're gonna go to kate it was weird not to start my Monday off. With your oh, thank you, Kate. That's so sweet of you. Yeah, I was um, traveling. I was traveling yesterday and there was, and actually I was uh, sitting in the pool most of the day and then traveling last night. So um, yes, it, 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 I missed it too, but I'm so happy I'm here today too. Thank you, Kate, for saying that. That's really kind of you. Okay, um, so I'm going to go to, I'm going to go to the next question. Um, and I'm, if you've already asked a question and I've answered it on the chat, I'm going to go to the next person. And if I have time at the end, I'll go back to the people who have second questions. I just think that's kind of fair for people, even though I would like to be able to do everything. I only have an hour, so I try to be fair. Um, Danny, Danny G wants to know, hello, my name is Daniel. Can I get anything from spirit? You can get everything from spirit, Daniel. Um, but you want a message. I'm guessing you want a message. Um, Daniel, there's something coming in for you within the next five weeks. You're going to have what they're calling a surprise. When it's a surprise, I can't tell you all the details of it, but what I can tell you is you're really gonna like it. It's almost like a new start, something something new, like a, like a, it's not quite a do-over, but it is. A do-over would mean you're doing, there was something from the past, you're doing it again. But in a sometimes with a do over, it's you get to start fresh in a different area. But this is within the next five weeks. Um, sometimes that's a work situation. You get to start a whole new work situation or a whole new relationship or something else. Again, it's a surprise. I can't tell you what it is. I can't. And I'm going to tell you this, <clears throat> Daniel. Sometimes a do over is when one of our, like if you have children and they have a child grandparents always think oh i get to do it again but better this time like because because they've learned so much and they get to be a grandparent now it's it's a it's a thing i'm i'm not a parent or a grandparent but it's a thing people tell me um but whatever it is whatever it is within 5 weeks you should know you should have this surprise and it's going to be really good for you embrace it, just enjoy it and run with it. Okay, Daniel, I feel like you're really going to love it. Okay, I'm going to go to the next caller who is 631. 631, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, thanks for taking my phone call. Suzanne, Florida. Um, I would like to move from Florida to North Carolina to be by my son and better job opportunities, younger people, et cetera. Um, I asked the landlord if I could get my lease September 3rd instead of November 3rd because I have more possibilities to get a school job in September than November. And um, my son is looking to be a police officer there. He's only 23, but what do you see? I see North Carolina being a really positive move for you. It's going to be very strong. It's going to be a good move. I feel like there will be, if you, um, I'm going to ask, a couple different ways this question I'm gonna I, because there's a couple moving parts in this it's not just you it's it's you there's well, no, a, it's, no it's my 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 son is already in North Carolina as a marine he's looking for a lease job he wants to stay in North Carolina when he gets out he's going to be staying with his girlfriend's parents in November until he gets the job or goes to the academy 
Okay, but there's. So I'm willing to be closer to him. Okay, excellent. Thank you for clarifying that. But there's also the matter of your lease. So it's so just I'm going to ask it a couple of different ways. Um, give me a second here sure. while I do that. I'm just going to mute you so I can focus in on the energy. So the first um, thing I'm going to say is, is she going to move in September, October? I feel like you might end up moving, having everything said and done in October. Um, although September would be good. Is that it's actually not the strongest but i feel like whatever would be there in september is going to be there in october i feel like even though you're not thinking that right now you're going no 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 i have to be there like this i get that i understand it but i feel like it's almost um and i get goosebumps as i say this uh it, october is going to be Maybe it's that you're going to be there by October 1st. So the, mo the the moving process will happen throughout September, whatever that means for you. I do feel like October is going to be the best travel, best and safest travel time for you. I do feel like if you try to push September, it's going to be a little bit chaotic and it might cause more expense or more problems for you there might be some hiccups along the way if you are willing and able to go october whatever that job is in september it will wait till october even if you don't have a specific position already in if you find a position that would have taken you taken you in september they will take you they'll hold you They'll hold it until October if it's the right position. I do feel like October is just going to be the better frequency, time, everything for you. So please know that. Please know you're going to have that opening. And that's going to be almost like I see do doors opening and golden light going through. Um, November is, 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 you're right, that's a little too long. But, but that October time would be prime i feel like your landlord will work with you to a certain extent um don't put too much pressure it will be better you bring it up and then you do everything you can to accommodate i do feel like there will be somebody to take your space in uh october if you um if that is i feel like yeah i do feel like you're gonna need september you're going to be relocating during the month of September. I really hope that's helpful for you. I really do. Um, and yes, that's what I have. That's what I have for you. Um, okay, Genevieve. Hey, Genevieve. Uh, I was wondering why I'm clumsier than usual in the last couple of days. Thank you. Um, Genevieve, it's it's a vitamin. It's a like a something nu nutrient. So I'm just going to use the word nutrient for the sake of not getting in trouble. Something nu nutritional, something nutritional, and it could be that because you're putting in too much of this, it's taking away this. So if we do, let's just say too much. I'm making this up, folks. I really don't know the statistics on this. I am totally making this up. So don't, if you want to correct me, you can. I'm making it up. Like if we do too much soda, it might take our, you know, some nutrient in our body. Or if we do too much uh, caffeine in general, it's, it's taking something that we need. I feel like um, make sure your iron levels are good and make sure that you're getting all the nutrients. And if you're doing something that might be depleting a nutrient, kind of even that out, okay, Genevieve? That's what I'm getting for you, my love. I hope that was very, very helpful for you. I'm gonna go to 850, 850. If I can push the button, 850, what's your name? Where are you calling from? Thank you. It's Michelle from Florida. Hey, Michelle. How are you? Oh, well, kind of depressed.
depressed some days and other days I'm okay. Um, he has been so hateful during this split, you know, and, and his addiction, you know, it just is crazy. I never expected it to be this bad. I mean, I'm an adult. We can, we can split up, you know, without all the drama. But anyways, a lot of drama has been happening. He got the title to my truck and, you know, it's just like, okay, what else is he going to do that you see that he's going to do? It's like, I'm trying not to, I'm trying to cut all ties to him, but my kids keep on calling him and I tell my kids to quit calling him. But when something goes bad, they call him because he's the one that gives them money and I don't, you know, I'm, I'm a tough mama, you know, and I just don't know what to do because. He is so crooked. Okay, so Michelle, I'm so sorry you're going through that. And here's what I'm going to say. Um, you know, if you need to get a new title, get a new title. Um, stay away from him. Let your children find out on their own. They already know they don't care because, you know, kids just want what they want. Let them find out on their own. Um, but don't get involved um and the you know he's just i just hear he's gonna do shenanigans but things only bother us if we let them make sure you're putting extra like locks or security or change of locks or whatever make sure he can't get into your place basically just make sure he can't get into your place um <clears throat> that's what i'm hearing um and a lot I of changed this, all my locks. Okay, good. And then the other thing is just expect some shenanigans, nothing bad or nothing, nothing. It's just going to be chaotic, but it'll subside in a month or so. And then you'll be able to move on without a lot of this chaos. Okay, love? Okay, honey. And, you know, it is going to get better. I, you know, one thing we have to remember, this is just a moment and the moment will pass and then it will be a new situation. We have to just get through every moment that we can in the best way that we can. And then that moment passes. And then the next moment is easier or better. And then the next moment. So we just have to get through the moments. And as long as we can remember, this is just a moment, there's, there's a better moment coming. It's going to take me a second to get there. As long as we can do that, we are good. Okay. So this is just a moment. We get through the moment. And the problem is in our society, people don't take the time to get through the moment of the, the, um, to get over a situation. They want to jump back into the situation or they want to, you know, uh, prolong the moment with the drama. And if we just say, this is a moment, I'm past this moment, I'm getting over it. We will get to the next moment and we will get through the healing of it and we will get onto the other side of it. But we can't cave and we can't give in. Okay, love? Okay, honey, thank you so much. And it you just, I'm, I'm going to put you on mute, but I'm going to finish this. I'm going to say this to you. You know, you said you're the tough mama and you need to be a tough mama. And remember, he's like a toddler. People sometimes when they have addictions, their behaviors are very similar to a toddler. And when a toddler acts out, we don't coddle them. We don't spoil them. We don't give them the fifth cookie. We ignore them. We put them in a serious timeout. And in this case, you're putting this toddler in a permanent timeout so that you can have, and this, you know, people think that we break up with somebody and it's, it's, it's them. We're doing this for us so we can have peace, so that we can have the life that we want and or deserve. Because being in a situation with someone who is unhealthy and harmful and toxic to your being will shorten your life and make you ill. And so you're doing this not only for you, but for your whole quality of life. So just a permanent timeout 
don't have to be cruel. Don't have to be mean. Just move on. Just move on with your life and keep going. No matter what the toddler does, no matter what tantrum they throw, you just keep living your life for you. Okay, sweetie? I I do truly hope um, that that is, that is very, very helpful for you. Okay, I'm going to go to this question next. Good morning. Just bought my granddaughter back to her parents. Just brought my granddaughter back to her parents. Um, they do love her a lot. Uh, there is, there are concerns. There is concerns. Um, how long is she going to be there? Is she coming back because of their situation? Thank you. Yes. Okay. Um, how long is she going to be there? I hear a total month. So whenever you took her, took your granddaughter back, total approximately a month, maybe a little less, she will be back with you again. Um, they do love her. I do feel like this is going to be like, they're going to have periods of time where they spend time with her, but for the majority of time, she's going to be with you. I do feel like there's going to be some, <sighs> ridiculousness going on, um, they love her, they care for her, they just don't have that same quality of care. What I'm hearing, and if this makes sense, is they don't give as much attention to the situation. They're not giving as much attention um, because of whatever they have going on. So that's what I'm getting. But I feel like in approximately a month, uh, your granddaughter will be back with you. And I do hope that that was very, very helpful for you. I really do. Um, okay, so I'm going to do one more quickie on the... Um, oh, thank you. Thank you. I did. The trip was absolutely amazing. Um, the trip was beautiful. Uh so Angel wants to know if of if any messages for me from my spirit team. Okay, Angel, give me a second here. I'm hearing a song. Oh my gosh, I didn't even do songs or names this morning. Oh my goodness, I'm hearing a song. Ooh, take the money and run. Ooh, 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 ooh. That song, and if you don't know it, it's okay. Um, what I'm here, when I hear that, that means whatever's going on in your life, um, take, take whatever it is and go, don't feel badly. Don't like, for example, I'm not saying this is your situation. Sometimes when people go through a divorce or they leave a company and there's, there's money, uh, take it. I, I'm not saying steal it. Don't steal it. That's not what I'm saying. But like, if you're going through a divorce and there's a settlement, Take the money and run, go, don't worry. Uh, if there's an inherit, just take the money and go. Don't feel badly about it. It's going to be all in your favor. Everything's about to, to, whatever it is. And it doesn't necessarily have to be money. It can be like, just go, just get, go, get out, do you, do you. Uh, your spirit team wants to know there's about to be a, a change, like a 360 whatever direction things were going in, or if, if you were, 60 uh, seconds. if it looked one way, it's about to, all the tides are about to change in your favor. Okay. All the tides are about to change in your favor. Be patient, give it time. Don't concede until they do, and then run with it. Whatever comes in, run with it. And you're going to be so happy that you did. Uh, thank you all so much for being here. I love you so much. Have an absolutely amazing rest of your day.